Hi. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to make an etiquette video. Now, I am not proper in any way, shape, or form, but there's one one thing of etiquette that I am an absolute expert in, and I know this for a solid fact. If this was a class, I would have an A in it. A plus plus plus, like the highest grade you can possibly get. I don't even know if if, if A, you know, A to the, you know, plus to the, like, the third is an actual grade. Unless you're in, like, sixth grade. Okay, so I have been to multiple baseball games my entire life. I have sat with the quiet fans, the really loud, obnoxious fans, and then the awesome fans. I wish I could sit with the awesome fans every game. I will next season. Anyway, so... Even when I see it on TV, I always feel like there are certain people that should watch this and realize that they're doing something wrong. I want to tell you there's a couple things that you shouldn't do, and I'm going to show you what you should do. Do not sit in a section with me and the people I go to a game with like this. No, do not do that. What are you following the game on your phone? The field's right in front of you. What do you need to go on there for? Do not wear heels and a tight dress and your hair all did to a baseball game. You ain't got nobody to impress. Now, if you're trying to impress David Wright, good luck with that because he is more focused on the game than the blonde chick with the short dress in the, the you know, behind home plate. Like, come on, get real with yourself. The people that just don't stop drinking. People take advantage of the fact that the seventh inning is the last inning to get beer, so they just keep getting up and going and getting beer, and then they're like, they get all crazy and they do these really stupid chants. Willie Harris, a couple games I was at, was DHing, and they kept doing... Willie Harris chance like five batters after he was up. It's funny, but it gets old really quickly. Not scream out. David Wright have my babies multiple occasions during the game. I love you, David Wright. When you're this far away from my fucking ear. No, like I need these four to listen to the game and I need this to hear. So don't blow out my eardrums because you're yelling that you love David Wright when you're 13 with your stupid bedazzled hat on. Do not come into the section or do, don't even step foot near a stadium if you have a sign that has some sort of like sexual innuendo for a player or some sort of like really dumb thing. I came from New York all the way to see Verlander. Who cares? Besides you? He doesn't care. I highly doubt that. Do me right. David, no. The only thing David Wright's going to do right is play third base. He's not going to do you at the end of the game. Don't do that. Please. That, that gives girl baseball fans a bad name. Please. Don't. Do that. You're a girl. Like, I saw this picture of a girl that went to Detroit. I could fly to fucking California and right. I, I flew from from New York to see Tim Lincecum play. He wouldn't come over, give me a high five, and ask me to smoke a blunt with him after the game. That's not gonna happen. This is what you do. You dance and you scream and you be incredibly obnoxious. The seventh inning polka song is what I live for. Don't ruin that for me, please.